What's going on, YouTube? You already know it's your boy Top. Sorry, I've been gone for a minute, but we back up in it. All right, they're like, Yo, Tops, you finna drop this bang? And I was like, Yeah, say less, homie. I'm finna drop it, bro. I'm finna give y'all my thoughts and opinion of what you guys saw in the title and the thumbnail of this thing. And you already know, man, your boy Tops is lucky enough to cop two of them things, right? Wifey got a pair, I got a pair. So we got two pair. Hey, <laughs> I said, give me two per. I need two. But yeah, you already know, man, it's your boy Tops. If you're new to the channel, you already know. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. Like the content, man. But with that being said, man, let's get into the meats and potatoes and let's get into this thing with the stuff, with the things, with the stuff, with the things in them. You heard? All right, we got the box. The box is really nice. The box, the box is really nice. I hope you guys like the dark background. The box is nice. You already know you got the bang. Ooh, shout out to Trophy Room for doing some details and stuff like that. And for this shoe to be suggested retail at 140, I was like, oh, shouty, <laughs> say less. But usually, you know, Nike dropped these shoes in at 160, bro. I think the Chinese New Year's, I paid like 160 for them and stuff like that. But whatever, man, you got this plain card thing stuff with the stuff with the things in them. And bam, bam, super detailed sneaker. In my opinion, a lot of detailed stuff, as you guys can see. But you get the drift. If you know what I mean, hit that damn like button, all right? And bam, we got the Air Jordan 1 trophy room things. I did do the lace swap already, as you guys are going to see on the on foot of this video. You guys got the lace swapping going on, man. And definitely a dope shoe, in my opinion. I think Nike and trophy room and Jordan brand did they thug a thizzle with this shoe right here, man. I think this is a very dope collab, very detailed, a whole nine, in my opinion, I think top five of 2024 so far. And let me tell you something, dog. the quality and everything on these shoes is A1, man. With the embroidered swoosh, the, uh, what would you call this? Uh, Velcro in the back, not Velcro, uh, corduroy in the back with Jordan's signature. That definitely hits real nice. It's kind of hard to see. And then you got the satin around the toe box area with that trophy room embroidered as well, man. With that off white, white going on on the shoe is pretty dope, man, in my opinion. I think these yellow laces hit, bro. These yellow laces hit, bro, in my opinion. Let me know what y'all guys think about the lace swap. Uh, when you guys see the on foot portion of it, it's definitely dope. Look at that satin sock liner. I do put tape on logos that I don't want to be worn out. So I keep tape on the, the bottom of the shoe so they don't wear out and stuff like that. So, but I think it's pretty dope, man. The idea, everything, the reverse black toe. But yeah, man, we got this satin uh, sock liner as well, man. Super dope. The whole idea of getting this shoe was pretty awesome. The whole entire city of Orlando end up hitting on this shoe. There was a good amount of these sneakers, at least here in this city, all right? Uh, I think close to between the two days of the shoe being ditched out to the public over 10,000 pairs and stuff like that. And I believe shipped to me was another 5,000 or something. In my opinion, man, this is a really nice sneaker, really dope shoe. It's really worth, I believe the resale. If I would have took an L definitely, I would have been purchasing, I've been spending that 500 on these. Cause I feel like they, they worth it. The quality, the, uh, the whole idea of the rookie cards and all that good stuff. And, and it's trophy room, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, it's like, for an example, you're getting Michael Jordan's son's touch on the shoe, which is fucking nuts, in my opinion, man. I believe the tongue could be also satin as well. But I don't know, man. I'm not a material guy, right? I'm not going to sit here in front and be like, yo, this is the material thing. I just know when shit is good or not. Now, if you want to hear what my pet peeve, not my pet peeve, what I dislike about the shoe is, I felt like they could have put the Jordan signature and the trophy room logo and then some type of either white stitching or in a gold stitching, especially the trophy room logo right here by the toe box or the mudguard area. Definitely would have gave it a nice touch if they would have done it gold, just like the the plate they put in the heel, which I thought that was a really, really, really good touch. It's putting that plate on the heel right there mm, instead of embroidered. That's so fire. But yeah, man, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Uh, try to make this a quick video for you guys. Also quick for me to edit. 
so with that being said i appreciate you guys coming through make sure you guys hit that like on this video man and you already know if you're new subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below what are your guys thoughts and opinion of the air jordan one low trophy room rookie card bro